Elon Musk has been on a fire frenzy at Twitter. If you didn't know, he bought Twitter for $44 billion and has been cleaning house. Tonight, fired by the world's richest man, Elon Musk announcing massive layoffs overnight, telling employees they'd get an email today telling them their fate. That email, subject, your role at Twitter. In the email, today is your last working day at the company and signed simply, Twitter. If you're following Tech Twitter, then you can see a daily play by play of Elon just taking control over his new company. On top of firing employees, he made an ultimatum to his current employees a few weeks back saying that if you do not get this new version of Twitter verified out, then you will get fired. There was already so much backlash from employees who had to work weekends to get this feature out and there was a lot of pushback regarding this because before Twitter verified was about making sure accounts were who they are and not bots or scam accounts but rather than listening to his employees he just went ahead with it and long behold it was an ultimate disaster so what happened with Twitter blue well he made this announcement that he's going to halt enrollment for the eight dollar subscription are we even surprised he even wrote out a tweet that said putting relaunch of Blue Verify to November 29th to make sure that it looks rock solid. Pretty messed up, especially for those employees that had to work weekends to get this arbitrary deadline out. And it sounded like Elon Musk just ignored Twitter's internal warnings about this verification system and he just doesn't seem to care. It's his way or the highway. If that wasn't bad enough, Elon has been going on a tirade of why the app is so slow. He wrote that, by the way, I'd like to apologize for Twitter being super slow in many countries. App is doing greater than 1000 poorly batched RPCs just to render a home timeline. This was a slap in the face for the devs that worked at Twitter and unsurprisingly, a lot of current employees that were still working there responded to this tweet and claimed that he was wrong. Eric, for example, said that I've spent six years working on Twitter for Android and can say this is wrong. Funny enough, Elon responded and said, then please correct me, what is the right number? And he wrote, Twitter is super slow on Android. What have you done to fix that? Eric responded, we have done a bunch of work to improve performance and we found that it correlates well with increasing UAM and ad spend. Agree, there's plenty of room for performance improvements on Android. However, I don't think the number of requests is the primary issue. He goes on with about eight more posts explaining what the actual issue is, but funny enough, Elon didn't really care. Um, and he, unfortunately he got fired and we can kind of talk about that in a few minutes. The next person was this other individual named Yao Yu and he or she got fired and wrote after 12 amazing years and three weeks of chaos, I'm officially fired by Twitter. Holy crap, 12 years. Never expected I would have stayed this long and never expected I would be this relieved to be gone. I have a lot of stories to tell, but to my fellow ex tweets, hashtag love where you worked. I couldn't really find too many tweets from this individual, but apparently there's rumors circulating that higher ups have been looking at your Slack messages. And if you wrote anything negative about Elon, then you are potentially going to get fired. And lastly, there's an individual named Sachi. Hopefully I pronounced that right. She actually locked her Twitter account now, so I can't really go to that tweet directly, but thank you internet for screenshots. I'll give you the PG version. You did not just lay off almost all of infra and then make some sassy remark about how we do batching. Like, did you bother to even learn how GraphQL works? You don't get to crap on our infra if you don't know what the heck it does while you're also scrambling to rehire folks you laid off. And then she wrote, LOL, I just got fired for crap posting. I said it before and I'll say it again. Kiss my butt, Elon. And the audacity or the pride of Elon, he wrote, a tragic case of adult onset Tourette's. I'll just leave that as is. You can make your own judgment call about this one because it's a little kind of blurring the lines or crossing certain lines. So I'm not surprised that all three engineers got fired. And I'm not saying if publicly responding to your boss is the right thing to do, but it just shows you that if you disagree with him right now, you're probably going to get fired. And to add salt on the wound, Elon is just doubling down and mocking these engineers that did get fired saying, hey, thanks for your service, I guess. It's also been noted that Elon is now forcing all employees to go work in the office full time. No remote is allowed. He sent out a post to his employees saying that the road is arduous and we require intense work to succeed. We are also changing the Twitter policy such that remote work is no longer allowed unless you have a specific exception. Managers will send the exception list to me for review and approval. Starting tomorrow, Thursday, everyone's required to be in the office for a minimum of 40 hours per week. 
Obviously, if you're physically unable to travel to an office or have a critical personal obligation, then your absence is understandable. I look forward to working with you to take Twitter to a whole new level. The potential is truly incredible. Thanks, Elon. As someone that does work 100% remote full time right now, I can't agree with this statement because personally for me, I have been really embracing this remote culture. I personally really like the hybrid approach. Unfortunately, at the moment with my current situation, I can't do that. But remote has really given me an opportunity to continue working at the company I enjoy. And I get to not have this pressure to feel like I need to be in the office. I don't really understand why Elon needs to have all of his employees be in the office 40 hours a week. But again, it's his own company. And I feel like there's going to be a lot of pushback regarding this. Lastly, I do want to mention that Elon sent a message to his current employees about either working with us or take your severance and get the heck out. And the subject started with a fork in the road. Going forward to build a breakthrough Twitter 2.0 and succeed in an increasingly competitive world, we will need to be extremely hardcore. This will mean working long hours at a high intensity. Only exceptional performance will constitute a passing grade. Twitter will also be much more engineering driven. Design and product management will still be very important and report to me but those writing great code will constitute the majority of our team and will have the greatest sway. At its heart, Twitter is a software and server company, so I think this makes sense. If you are sure that you want to be part of new Twitter, please click yes on the link below. Anyone who has not done so by 5 p.m. tomorrow, Thursday will receive three months severance. Whatever decision you make, thank you for your efforts to make Twitter successful, Elon. So apparently they have 24 hours to respond to this and that is really just not enough time for anyone to make a decision especially because this sounds like you're in a really, really tough spot. And personally, it just feels like he's just kind of playing games with uh, people's lives. And I don't really agree with that. But if you were a Twitter employee and you got this email, what would you do? I'm very curious about your thoughts. So please add them in the comments below. Overall, it's just crazy to see this kind of drama unfold in Twitter and just being able to see this on a day by day basis. And I have just been glued to Twitter every single day, funny enough, hearing about Twitter news. Hopefully I could provide you more updates as things are changing very, very dynamically. And I'm also curious, what do you think about this whole Twitter drama? I'm doing something a bit new with this channel and want to provide you with current events related to tech, to crypto and things like that. Let me know if you like this content and I'll keep making more. Make sure to like and subscribe. It really helps me out and I'll see you later.